Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Democracy Free. My name is Weasel, and we are converting Canada into a really awesome country for religious and patriotic people. And we're doing really well here. Uh, just look at this. 100% of the population are fanatically supportive and highly trusting. And what do you do with highly trusting people? Well, you kind of abuse the fact that they trust you and implement crazy policies to gain more power and... You know, like, follow your own interests. And this is what we're doing. Great. Um, so in the last episode, we... <laughs> in the last episode, we started off the bicycle subsidies. Yeah, great. Great intro, you know. Oh, we're gonna make it the perfect country and... Uh, <clears throat> patriotic people are going to like us and we're gonna abuse the fact. And we're abusing the fact by implementing bicycle subsidies. Great, Weasel. No. We're going to do these awesome things, but I don't have a lot of political capital. We're going to jump into the next uh, round for now, um, because I spend it in this one. Uh, the next, uh, what is it? Uh, turn. Three months ahead and going to have a look. So, finally, alcohol abuse is at an end. And we have extreme nationalism. Great! I kind of want that, but I kind of don't want that, you know? You, you get me? You feel me? Nationalism is not a bad thing. Extreme nationalism kind of gets to a pr problematic point. I mean... But uh, as long as they like me, that's good. I'm, I'm fine. Why not, you know? But it seems that it's a problem that has a negative effect. Alright, alcohol abuse is at an end. That's a start. Health is going up. Um, things are looking okay, and a royal scandal? A prominent member of the royal family has unfortunately made a comment that could be considered racist if taken out of context. Does Canada have royal family? I did not know that. The comment was overheard by press photographers and is causing a scandal. How will your government react? Support a monarch or criticize the monarch? Um, yeah, nobody expects the government to, of the day to openly criticize the monarch. It would be likely to m lead to mere constitutional difficulties and would be considered deeply unpatriotic. No, we're going to support the monarch. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, they have expressed concern about the wars of Gaia, an extremist environmentalist organization. Well, we might do something good for our environmentalist friends. Um... Election looks fine. Members are going up. Those are going down. Great. And they don't have any activists anymore. Wonderful. Oh, God. That capital is doing 16 per turn. Wow. He's the only guy that likes us. He's like, yeah, you're awesome. You're you're the best. Well, it's time to freaking reshuffle the whole... Ca oh, God. Look at that. That requires a lot of capital. We're going to kick all of them out of the government after, you know, the end of the turn. I don't want to make people unhappy for now. And they might, you know, quit themselves. That might also not be good. I don't know about that. Anyway, we wanted to reduce the car usage so the environment, you know, is getting better and that should improve the health and the environment should be happy. So reducing car usage or any kind of, you know, pollu polluting factors would be a great thing. Or like air travel, reduce air travel. Um, so, wait, we have a rail strike. They're turning that up. Actually, we had a rail strike for two years now. Guys, you need to work. Wow. Um, they're asking for great investment in the rail network. Well, I guess we can do that. Um, uh, we should put some money into the rails. What does that do? More commuters, more rail usage, more poor earnings, less motorists. Oh, no, that will make him unhappy. Um, rail strike. Yeah, that should go down. Unemployment goes down. That's good. Okay, you know what? We're gonna put a maximum into our rails. Into our rail system. We wanted to reduce, you know, car usage anyway. So we can get rid of that stupid strike. It's annoying. Now let's have a quick look at policies. Park cooling pooling campaign. I would like to do that as well, you know, to and fuel efficiency standards. Well, actually, that's actually a little bit... Um, actually, Pierre would like to see that. 43%. Eh, that's okay. Let's make a maximum out of it. Reduces our oil demand. Car usage goes up. 
that's okay. Motorists' income goes up and capitalists and emissions go down, which is a good thing because we really want to work on the environment and environmentalists are a little bit more happy. Good. Not that I care too much for them, but I don't want to kill, be killed by them as well. It's kind of a good reason, you know, like, please change that or, you know. Ooh, the GDP goes down, market meltdown. Ugh. We may not have done anything wrong, but a crisis in confidence in the overseas mortgage, mortgage markets has led to a global meltdown for the stock market. Big financial institutions are panicking and there's likely to be a medium-term drop in the strength of the global economy. Uh, great. Thanks for that. Credit rating downgraded because of that. Perfect. Well, at least people still think we're awesome and are voting for us. Um, Minotaurs are supportive, but the effectiveness is considered to be adequate. Yeah, I don't like the effectiveness. I'm not happy about that at all. So let's have a quick look at our security briefing. Uh, I think, actually, we reduced the membership. So that's good. Security effectiveness is good. We're doing well. Great, that made them happy. <sighs> is this going down? Really, does it take that long? I just said we're spending billions on the rail network, and you're telling me that we are still going to have rail strikes for over a year now? That's not cool. <sighs> Wait, oh, how long? Implementation delay, 24. 24 turns for rail subsidies to take effect. Wow, that's a lot. <sighs> I didn't expect that to take that long. Who's like overseeing this, two years? <sighs> Silly guys, anyway. Um. Let's have a quick look at our motorists. Um, the membership is going down a little. Happiness is going up. So I like that. Um, the environment. Yes, I wanted to have a quick look at the environment. Shouldn't be too many changes about that. Uh, the environment. Car usage is still hurting it a little bit. The GDP is still hurting it a little bit. Um, clean energy subsidies help. And those grants also help. Oh, we could actually raise that. Um... CO2 emissions go down. Oh, look at this. This uh, has... I feel this doesn't have a bad effect on anyone. Just the CO2 emissions and we're gonna kick them in the nuts. So, yeah, confirming that changes. Just a little bit more expensive. I wish we wouldn't be in a deficit all this time, but then again, I think we can go up to two... That's not billion, then it's like trillion? I don't know. Um, 2,000 billion. There we go. <sighs> All right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna jump into the next one, so we have a little bit more political capital at our hands. And finally, organized crime is at an end. That took long enough, though. I'm, I'm surprised. Why did that take so long? Whaling, there's an urgent policy question. Um, resolution before the government proposing to reintroduce of a small-scale commercial whaling in Japanese waters. Why, why would I decide the introduction of whaling in Japanese waters? Um, we're gonna keep the ban in place. I'm not a big fan of whaling, no matter what. You know? And, um, yeah, the Human Rights Society has been criticizing government policy on the radio. Let them criticize. That's fine. 82% of people would vote for me. You can't do nothing. I'm unstoppable now. <sighs> Finally. Alright. We have 30 capitals. We can do a few cool things. And, well, these take a lot of capital. What do we need to fix? We kind of need to fix... Wait. Extreme nationalism. I wanted to have a look at that. Because it shoot... You know, it went up all of a sudden. Um, education reduces that. Poverty increases nationalism. Unemployment increases that. Well, we should do something about unemployment. Um, but the GDP is kind of making that a big problem, so it's time to continue to work on the GDP. It always comes back to GDP. Whatever you do, make sure that your GDP is doing well. All right, so space program, small business grants, pollution control, work safety law, government subsidies for unions, nah. Diversity quotas, nah. National Business Council, what is that? Uh, National Business Council gives a strong voice to business interests and ensures the needs of business, both big and small, are taken into account. 
It's uh, to promote capitalism and enterprise and get across the message that the corporate world has much to offer. Creates employment and prosperity. All right. Implementing that. Doesn't cost a lot. The GDP actually goes up quite a bit. I'm surprised. 3.2% up for 190 million and a few unhappy socialist people? Uh, yes, please. Um, I mean, what, what, where are my socialist people? Let's have a look. Um, why can't I see them? Oh, there, there they are. Um, 80% are socialists. Actually, quite a few, whew, uh, members there. It's fine, it's fine. Um, if it helps boost the GDP, I will gladly do this. Recycling, mm, it's good for the environment, but not now. We did enough for that for now. Echo Home Regulation Smart Meter Program will make us less dependent on oil, which is nice. <sighs> I might go, you know... Small business grants lead to a big boost in the economy, but it can be an expensive policy with no guarantee of good results. I'm trusting it. I'm trusting it. Um, if we put it up to the maximum, it will improve self-employment. The GDP will go up, definitely. Capitalists will be happy about that. Socialism, eee, membership goes down. No, actually, wait. Yeah, socialism membership seems to go down um, in general, and this all looks good. So we're going to implement a small business grant. And we still have 18 capital left, wow. Oh yeah, we, we were saving up. I think we're gonna jump into the next one, in the next turn. Uh, I'm gonna save that up, for in the case we want to do something bigger. But for now, this is all looking great. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 a liberal plot. These damn liberal hippies. Our intel department has uncovered cause for concern. Apparently, a hardcore offshoot of the human rights society called the Freedom League might be taking their liberal agenda a bit too far. They're apparently looking at ways to topple the government and aren't going to attempt it by writing angry letters. Some of these extremists have got guns and our undercover agents suggest that they're serious. Thanks for the advice. Not cool. This is where I'm going to save. Definitely. Not cool. This is, uh, this is making me nervous now. This is making me very nervous and paranoid. And you don't want to make your leader paranoid. You know what happens when that happens. All right, economic forecast, uh, still in deep recession. Um, anything else? No, so let's, he wants to talk to me. And our credit rating got downgraded to B again. Okay, Stanley, what's your problem, Stanley? He's tired, he doesn't want to work for me anymore. And the GDP, ah, we're trying to fight against it. We're trying to fight against the recession, okay. So, still a high deficit, I don't like it. Friggin' GDP, friggin' GDP. All right, so, we kinda have a pro oh my god, 184 people. Ooh, not good. That is, that is a lot of, that is a lot of bad. That is one big bar of bad. Friggin' hell. <sighs> okay, let's save this. Things get serious. Okay. I will try to have to negate that. I don't, you know, deal with terrorists, but I don't want to die. Okay. What is their problem? Let's let's, let's have a look. What are they? They are um What are they? Extremist group? Doesn't say what they're fighting for. Wait, oh yeah, right, liberals. There were liberals. What about them? Oh yeah, they're not happy. They're not happy. 61% of these people are really, they're fanatically opposed. That's not good. But how can 100% of the population be fanatically uh, supportive and then you have 60% of those people being fanatically opposed? There must be like schizo at this point. Poor guys. Armed police, ooh. That seems to make them really happy, and the abortion law, ooh, I can see a problem here. I can see a problem here. The only way to deal with this is to implement more law and order. We kind of have to be sure. We gotta watch those people. 
Internet censorship might be a way. Liberals would suggest that the Internet's greatest characteristic is freedom from censorship and control, leading to an open and tolerant society. Freedom has its price, however, and there's no shortage of material on the Internet that can assist those with a criminal intent. Opinion on what should and should be censored on the web is bitterly divided. That's one thing, and a general media censorship would be a start. Um... But that needs more capital, actually. Not that much capital. I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh, we have 30, but we need 35. Oh my god, we can only hold a maximum of 30. We kind of wasted a lot of capital there. I hate my cabinet. I really hate my cabinet. We're gonna reshuffle it. Yep. It's time to hire a new cabinet. Oh yes, you're all snickering, aren't you? But I had enough of you guys. Blocking my every turn. All right, foreign policies. Let's hire someone for a foreign minister. <sighs> Who wants to do foreign policies? You would like to do that, and trade unionist and youth. I think he might like us. Welfare. Um, let's hire a welfare minister. You would like to do that, trade unionists and farmers. Uh, I guess. Oh, 1.5 only. Nah, not hiring you. Conservatist environmentalists. Uh, no. I mean, conservatives, they would like it. Wait, let's tax. Let's hire him for taxes. Um, welfare. Who do we have for welfare? Who wants to do welfare? Anyone? Environmentalists and state employees. Uh, not too happy, but better than before. Economy. <sighs> yeah. Well, I can't give everyone their, their dream job, especially if they don't do a lot for me. Let's just hire loyal people. Let, let's hire him. Law and order. Okay, we're gonna hire him for law and order. Where is he? Transport. Um, he would do transport. And he's really happy with me. Or he's really loyal at least. Public services. Um, you would like to do that. And I don't want you... Ooh, look at him. I think he was our biggest fan, farmer and religious people. Um, is he economy? What does he want to do? He wants to do foreign policy, law and order, welfare. Oh, we don't have the right job for you. Welfare. Yeah, we're gonna fire you because I want to hire him. My best friend here. There we go. Economy. Who wants to do economy? You. Ethnic minorities and capitalists. You wouldn't like me at all. Liberal and parents, nope. Youth capitalists. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that and then we're gonna hire someone for the publics. Uh, that is going to be you, Mason. Mm, liberal parents, is someone here? Farmer conservatives, yes, you know. We're gonna go with that one, she might like us a little bit more. Okay, 26 capital per term, that's much better, thank you. And we're gonna spend that because we can't stash so much right now, which is a big, big shame. It's fine. All right, 17. Law and order. Um, public services. Actually, actually. Hmm, I wonder. We should do something about the GDP or the environment. I kind of forgot about that for a second here. So we are going to look what we can do here. Pollution controls. Uh, nah, not for now. Echo home regulations. Um, this may cause a hassle for developer and landlords, but it will protect the environment in the long run. It's not too expensive, and eco-friendly homes, I like that. Capitals won't like it, environment is with environment. Talking is hard, my English is breaking apart. CO2 emissions are going down and environmental and <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to say that word anymore. It's a bad word. Oh god, liberals hate us. Good, that's what I wanted. Angry liberals. All right. Oh, look at that. They actually tried to kill me. They tried to kill me. Ha! But they failed. F Apologies for rushing you out of the building in a hurry, but that explosion was an assassination attempt on you carried out by extremists. Extremists. Liberal splinter group known as the Freedom League. They are apparently angry enough about your government's treatment of liberal issues to try and blow you to pieces. Thankfully, our security services managed to discover the bomb before it went off. We might, might not be as lucky next time. Freak. Extreme nationalism is at an end. That's good. That's good. We get still 70% of the votes. Uh, we have 
10 million members. Great. And they're concerned about imminent attacks. Oh god, we're gonna get... We're trying to stay alive here now. Look at that, 50% of uh, voters. That's a nice boost. We're doing really great here. Poor people don't like me. Why don't they like me right now? Why, why is everything going down? Uh, why is the happiness going down so much? A lot of people are really unhappy right now. How is that? What, what happened? What did I do? Um, um, I wonder. Happiness is constantly going down and I'm not really sure why. Even the religious people are less happy. They're still very supportive, but... Um, complacency. Oh, is, is that is that the thing? Oh, intriguing. Intriguing. I don't even know what I can do against that. Huh, fascinating. And the rail strikes are still going on because it's still not implemented yet. At least we have a little bit of uh, capital. So let's have a look. Um, how much can we stash? How much capital can we stash? 52. Good, 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 good. This is much better now. Um, so we can implement a small change. What is that? The uncompetitive economy. We need to boost productivity for our GDP. Um, yeah, maternity leave is really doing a number on us here. It's really reducing the productivity. You know, we're gonna we're gonna go down to. No, we we need more people. I kind of feel stuck here. I kind of feel stuck. We just survived this assassination attempt. I kind of want to implement more law and order. Thank God for our police drones. They probably helped us avert this crisis. But thank you guys so much for watching. We are now living on the edge. This is now... We're close to our first election. We're close to our first election. We can make it. We can survive. But it's going to be close. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.